Hey guys, it's Katie and I'm here today to review Animal Farm by George Orwell. And wow, I, wow, I really, really enjoyed Animal Farm. I never read Animal Farm. I never had to read it for school. And my dad suggested I pick it up because he remembered really, really enjoying it when he had to read it. And so I did. And just wow just so much is packed into such a short book I mean it's around 100 pages maybe a little bit over but there is so much that happens it's very fast paced it's very it just got a lot to say and surprisingly as I that despite the fact that this book was written a while ago, it's surprisingly still relevant. It is so relevant to today. And I would recommend all of you pick it up because I've just, I learned so much from this book. So for those of you who don't know what it's about, or this book is basically taking political science and government structures and using animals that live on a farm to show how they are what they're like so the book starts with these animals on this farm called manor farm which they later name animal farm um, meeting in the barn and having a discussion talking about a rebellion and a revolution and overthrowing the human race basically and taking their lives back and living for themselves. So they talk about better living and not being enslaved by humans. They create a set of rules, at least there are seven of them, but their main rule or their main idea is that anything with two legs is bad and anything with four legs is good. So <laughs> they rebel against their then owner and they create their own life on this farm. It starts out as something that is equal. All of them do work and share the profits and kind of a decent idea at first. But then over time, it morphs into different types of government. So at one point they have two leaders, kind of like Democrats, Republicans, and each has their own way of going about things and they vote on different things they want to do. And then after that, they overthrow one of the parties essentially brainwashing all of the animals into believing this thing. They're under dictatorship for a while, and it's a lot. For those of you who live in the United States, you will see that <laughs> a lot of the things that are happening right now are in this book. It's just, oh my god, I, I was so engrossed, and I was so just captured and pulled into this book. It's unbelievable. And my favorite was the last line of the entire thing, which said, basically, I don't have the book here and I can't look it up because I'm recording on my phone. Basically what it said was, the creatures looked from the pigs to the humans. From the pigs to the humans. From the pigs to the humans. And ultimately, they couldn't tell which was which. And it was... When, when you read the whole book and understand everything that happened and what it's basically showing, <laughs> it's um very powerful. It has a very powerful message. And a very, just so much that could be said about it, so much that could be talked about. I still have so many thoughts 
and feelings and things I just want to talk about. I want to talk to people about this book because there's just so much that could be said and now my parents want to reread it because now I've been talking about it all day and I'm probably going to continue talking about this for quite a while. It boggles my mind that George Orwell was this ahead of his time because as I said it's so relevant and just oh my god just go read it so we can talk about it as I said it's really short it I'm so glad I picked it up I'm so glad that I listened to my dad's advice and <laughs> decided to give it a read because as I said I really enjoyed it I ended up giving it a five out of five stars on Goodreads I mean for a book of this genre and this type it's been quite a while since I've been that engrossed in a book like this. I'd love to talk to any of you if you've read it. And if just leave me a comment below or find me on any of the social media links that I've posted. I have a Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and Goodreads. And feel free to like or subscribe. Click the little bell and get notifications for any time I post a new video. So I'll come back with another video for you guys again soon. Okay, bye.